The South Korea's job market continues to grow, with employment numbers rising for the second consecutive month. However, there are indications of a cooling trend, particularly in key sectors like construction. Our Moon Haedon has the details. Job growth in South Korea continued in August, but at a slower pace compared to earlier in 2024, primarily due to a slowdown in the construction sector. Data from Statistics Korea on Wednesday shows that there were just under 28.9 million people in employment last month, up 123,000 from the same month last year. This represents the second consecutive month of year-on-year -year job growth exceeding 100,000, following a more subdued pace in May and June. While the overall job market remains resilient, the pace of job creation has slowed considerably compared to earlier in the year when job growth exceeded 300,000. A breakdown of the data reveals a mixed bag of results across different industries. While the information and communications sector added jobs, the construction sector experienced a significant decline with 84,000 fewer jobs. The number of jobs in construction has fallen for four months straight. This is largely due to weakening construction industry, especially in general construction. Another key factor that played into the decline in construction jobs is thought to be the heat wave in August, with the country experiencing one of the hottest summers on record. The wholesale and retail sector also shed 55,000 positions, with a growing use of unmanned kiosks and online shopping. The employment rate for individuals aged 15 to 64, a key indicator used by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, rose 0.2 percentage points to 69.8 percent. Meanwhile, the number of economically inactive individuals rose by 48,000 compared to the previous year. Of particular note is the surge in the number of people not working without a specific reason. This figure reached nearly 2.6 million, which is a record high for the month of August. Individuals aged 60 and over accounted for the largest increase in this category, followed closely by those in their 20s. During a job task force meeting on Wednesday, the first vice finance minister announced that the government plans to accelerate the implementation of measures to boost construction investment, as well as to actively seek out unemployed graduates and provide tailored employment services. Moon Haeryeon, Arirang News.